episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Oh, you're the sticky banana stroker seven. <laughs> banana stroker. <laughs> and we're playing uh, a freaking uh, Monster Hunter, dude. That was a callback to yesterday's episode. Go watch it if you yeah, want to know yeah, what we're talking back. about. Yeah, go watch yesterday's episode. This is enthralling. Uh, this is what you do between matches, man. I got it set up now where it spins a... L oh, man. It's, don't do not do this to me. Really? Really, guys? All right, fine. You got it set up now where it uses a lot more. It takes a lot less time. But if I was to get something awesome like Crystalline Withering, Withering Prince, Jonas, yeah. everybody in the comments would go crazy. Yeah. Because I would get Crystalline Withering Prince. Ten of them instead of one? I would... Y yes! Alright. And then uh, Is it did you set the setting to make it go faster or the game change? Just with like the last uh update they Systems had it they had levels. it set so that uh it's now you can Yeah, I'm leaving. It it takes ten it's ten times quicker because yes. you get you t it costs ten times more, you get ten times more supplies. Yeah. Yes. Well, dude, I remember the one day, like, you got done and you sat here for, like, 45 minutes just, like, <laughs> holding down the button. Well, I used a rubber band. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I do remember, like, eating food and just, like, watching. Yeah, it. yeah, like, you were like, yeah, you started cooking. I was like, what are you I doing? Did. You're like, oh, I'm just collecting supplies. I was like, oh, this seems fun. <laughs> And they expect you to, like, do each button press. That was, like, the intended route was for you to guess the combination before it shows up on, before it shows up on screen. Oh. So, like, there's three at the bottom. It's either A, X, or Y. So you would press A, X, or Y, and you would either get in the right order or you wouldn't. And if you did, then you got a better reward. And who figured out you just hold down R? Well, they put that in there in case you didn't want to wait. Well, who wants to wait? Who wants to sit there and hit three buttons for an for, hour? For and longer. <laughs> if I was doing it manually, it would take longer. Like, like I get having mini games for prizes, but like, what kind of mini game is guess the three buttons? It's like the worst <laughs> mini game ever. It's supposed to be like a slot machine. Yeah, dude, they can slot something. Did you hear, Jonas, that they uh, now have uh, the ESR ESRB now has on boxes uh, that it has gambling? Not gambling, but they say loot boxes, and then, like, underneath it, it'll say, like, uh, it won't say loot boxes. It'll say in-game purchases and something about how they're random rewards or something, which okay. is which is an indicate that the game has loot boxes. Right. But it's still a little cryptic, the way it's even worded. It's not going to change parents much. Parents don't but... give it. <clears throat> parents don't read that, dude. No. They don't. They're like, oh, it's rated M? Okay. <laughs> so I can get it for my two-year-old two -year daughter, huh? Right. Yeah, I think it's funny how um, uh, parents don't care about that. <laughs> All I gotta say is that parents just don't understand, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, we had that story on the podcast about, like, the 11-year-old who played Whoops. so much Grand Theft Auto that his parents just let him drive their car for real. I'm like, how about you just don't let him play Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> I still got to I still got to see the the, the the notes on that story, man. Eh, I'm not. I want to see if not like facts, dude. <laughs> I don't need I don't need the real story. It's however I interpret it what I read. <laughs> I still it's how I interpreted it, not how I read. Well, what I read. That's funny. I like that. I mean, that's kind of what we do, right? How many times like, well, what happened to that? And you're like, I don't know. And I say what? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. That's basically it. I remember you used to try to be like, no, dude, we're telling the truth. We get these articles. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, as time goes by, everyone gets a little less uh, integrity. Dude, yeah. I just, don't want, I just don't want my integrity to be called into. Well, now we proclaim we're about truth, not fact. It's true to me. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's true to me. I like that the best. <laughs> I like that the best. Hey, look, guess what? This is the truth to me. Yeah, right. As far as I'm concerned, that's what I got from the story. That, that should be our tagline for whatever we do. It's true to me. <laughs> Crazy Town Podcast is true to us. <laughs> that's my story. It's and we just start me. making shit up. Stop. <laughs> I, I, I thought we were talking. Passions, I, was in, I, was in, I was in podcast mode. I th we started just making stuff up <laughs> and just saying, it's truth, man. <laughs> Zebra turned into a turkey today at the zoo. <laughs> yep, true to me. Oh, me. that's just crazy, Jones. Can't believe that happened. Yeah, this, me neither. This would be the easy. That would be the easiest uh, podcast we ever <laughs> just did. Just improv making things. We should do that one time. We should just make okay. stuff up the whole time. All right, after this one. 
<laughs> we'll do it. We'll just we'll call it the make believe episode, dude. Yeah, we'll just, that's we'll... an evergreen. That's an evergreen. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. That one never dies. Yeah, that would be <laughs> the tr the tr <laughs> it's true to us episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, man grew a second penis today. <laughs> <laughs> You're already in it, dude. I can dude, tell. I can t I can do that. I can make every episode that. I, like I could absolutely do that. I would have right. no problem coming up with stuff. All right. Uh, do we have to? Do we have to sell it? Do we have to sell what? Do we have to? I mean, do we have to like sell it? Like, sell the podcast? No. Jesus. I would sell it. Oh yeah, we gotta pretend like it's real. It's like No Sleep on Reddit. Like. Whatever I say, you gotta like buy into. I've never watched No Sleep on Reddit. You don't watch it, read it. It's uh, like people make up fakes, people make up stories, but the that. rules of the subreddit or the in the comments, everyone has to pretend it's real. Uh, so like someone will make this really crazy story about like something that's happened to them, and they'll be like, "Oh my God, why don't you try this, 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 and this?" And like they like kind of play into it, and they'll put like three, four, five parts out, and like keep it like expanding on it. It's kind of a neat idea, but some of it's kind of dumb. I could, I could see how. Yeah, but happen. like, it'll be like, you know, like, I thought things were normal at my high school until, and then it was like a story about how, so, and then somebody's like, oh my God, what did Mr. Johnson, the science teacher, do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, or whatever. I mean, it's Dang not, Mr. Johnson, it's dude. Not, it's not high school related most of the time, but, you know, that's kind of an example. The dang Mr. Johnson. Oh, Jonas, I'm by myself now. Oh, uh, all by myself. They all left me. I've been left. Why did they dump on you, dude? You're winning. I think uh, my internet connection pooped out. <coughs> oh, so actually you left them. Uh, I mean, you, it's, it's, true all, it's to, all point it's, of view, guess, guess perspective. What? It's true to me. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they left me, dude. And they're a bunch of jerks, and they're, all of their accounts should be banned. Yeah. I, well, why don't you write into Microsoft? I am. I'm going. I'm, I am right after this. True to should me. We, should we do a whole season of the podcast where all we do is make up fake stories? I don't know. We'll have to like. <laughs> this needs some like some testing. Obviously, <laughs> all right. We don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> it may be the dumbest, most like just self masturbatory. Well, we have to make it like vivid, where like it. I mean, we make it sound like it's a real <laughs> story, but it's not. I, I think one episode will be plenty. <laughs> like I said, we got we got to put it in the test. Now, if we put it on Spotify and it blows up bigger than Joe Rogan, then I say, yeah, we keep doing it. But <laughs> I, we have a long way to go. Hey, you never know. I'd rather man. be bigger than Steve one. Rogan at this point. It only takes one. It really does. It hits. Yeah. Once it, wow. Why is this? Head all swollen. Dude, I wanted to show this guy. I like this guy. He's, he's yeah, one he's of the, actually one of the cooler monsters. He's pretty cool looking, looking. anyway. Yeah, he's a D dude. Like all of those little pods on his stomach fall off and flop on the ground and they blow up when they hit you. Oh wow, that sounds awful. Yeah, dude, I don't want to be flopped on. I'm not a big fan of it. You're not a big flopper boy. No, nah, dude, I don't like big floppers. I'm, I think that's a lie. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't understand where you're going with this. Oh. All right. Oh, his, he just put his lights out. Yeah, I'm not We'll leave lights. the lights on for you. Red roof in. Knock his freaking block off. Mm -hmm. You ever been to the zoo? You know I've been to the zoo. We talked about the zoo. I okay. told you I like gor the gorillas because oh, they're right. freaking crazy looking. Uh, I haven't been to SeaWorld since I was a child. I haven't been to an amusement park, period. Oh, like Six Flags yeah. or something? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all right, man. <laughs> they're all right. I'm going to have to disagree. The, uh, last, the last one I went to was the one that was like, oh, no, which was like maybe five minutes from my house when I lived in PA. Oh, is it Kings Island? No, it was Waldemere. Oh, that one's garbage. Dude. It was so garbage. It was basically like an affair that was there all the time. It, that is the <laughs> best way to describe that place, to be honest. I went there like three times, and I was like, "Are we at the fair?" And they're like, "No, this is a amusement <laughs> park." I'm like, "Oh." They did have a a wooden <laughs> roller coaster that was open basically. I wouldn't say all year round, but it was open a, a lot. Yeah. And Do was, they still have the hell hole? The hell? Yeah, is that the one that drops you? Well, like you, you, you're inside and you're standing against the wall and the floor drops out. So yes. Centrifugal force. Well, I mean, it's been a while since I've been there, obviously. But like, but yeah. Yes. But I mean, you were in PA way closer to any time I went there. Yes, they still had that. That thing is so old. The thing is old and. 
freaking terrifying. Did they have that I'm big not... building with a gorilla on top still? And like inside was a scrambler? Wow. You are talking about like a 37,000 years ago here. No! <laughs> That's what you get for, for pooping <laughs> on my parade. I was, I was not pooping on your parade because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that it sounds familiar enough where it could have been anything. But now we're, I don't know. And they have a roller coaster called the Blue Streak. Yes, and I remember I, the Blue Streak. And I remember that because when I went there as a kid, I wanted to ride it. And my mom was like, if you go on the Blue Streak, you're going to get off and have brown streaks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. My mom was yeah. always crass. You know, you wonder where a person gets it from. <laughs> and then you hear stories like that. Oh, you like, met my mother? And I was like, I was like, wait till you meet her. You're going to be like, oh, I get it now. And then she left and you're like, oh. I do get, I get it. it now. <laughs> I do. I do. I totally get it. She's definitely me times a couple. It's funny because like I've had <laughs> moments where I'm like I'm my mom. <laughs> I just I'm her. <laughs> I spent so much time around this woman where I've just I've become her to some to some level. Yeah, it's like it's like you become her and then you like add in your own like your male version of her. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, I have logic and there's still women. Oh, so. wow. <laughs> Mom burn. <laughs> oh, and I know how to use the computer to, <laughs> to some degree. <laughs> yeah, but it's a uh, yeah, it's funny, man. How how we yeah we, how yeah. it's just funny. People are very, usually very close to like a parent, wonder, one parent or the other. I wonder if if my mom was like a doctor, if I would have just been a doctor. Good job, mom. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I could have been a medical professionado. Yeah, you could have been a could have been the guy who cured cancer. Yeah, but instead I'm just some dude playing video games on YouTube. Yeah, well, aspirations. Thanks, mom. You know, cause your mom was YouTubing back when you were a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Crazy. She wouldn't have just been on YouTube all the time. <laughs> I'm at, I wonder what like these people who are like professional YouTubers like when they have kids, like. It's gonna be like there's gonna be like second and third generation. A lot of them are like, hell no, there's no way my kid is gonna be on YouTube. Yeah, because well, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, to be completely honest about it, like, if you get to the level where you're successful at YouTube, yeah. you have to deal with you have to have, have thick skin, man. You deal with a lot of haters. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I actually watch a couple YouTubers who recently have or recently found out that they are having children. It's, oh, wow. It's, it's it's interesting to know that I've been watching, like, some of these people for, like, five, six years. And, right. Like, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Can I move ever, please? <laughs> yeah. God, it's just it. weird. Just weird. Well. Okay. Well, I should be dead, so that's a positive. I might still die. Well, because everybody quit on you, so. Oh, he's dead. Put a, put a, put your barrels down. He's not dead. I mean, he's a sleepy boy. Can you he capture is, him? He is sleepy. He is a sleepy boy. Um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and then this. And then he's going to hit the wall. And then I'm going to come over here. Then I'm going to do this. Okay. And I'm going to bang and then bang. And then I'm going to go bang, Ooh. bang. Oh. Hit him again, and oh, then he's go. gonna die. Little mama, let then me bang. Then he's going to pass bang, away. Bang, bang. Oh, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to jump. It, it with some chance some rappers. Yeah, chance and rappers up. All right, Jones. Well, that was that was good, man. You, did it, you made it. I did. Didn't die. All, all right. right. Well, that's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Go back and find out what Banana Stroker Seven means. Watch every video till you find it. It's a good idea. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. We. Or out. Uh.